All right, so welcome back, everyone. Uh, this is the Robin Jones Group. I'm Robin Jones. I'm Megan Graff. I'm Sayward Lehman. And this week, we want to talk to you a little bit about moving to the Pittsburgh area. So you've moved to the Pittsburgh area, and what does that mean for you? There's so many communities out there. Where to go, where to choose. Yep, and how do you find the right area? Because we all know that first place we're going to go is the internet. A lot of you are going to go to Zillow. A lot of you are going to go to all places we don't want you to go. <laughs> um, but then some of you do have real estate agents that you know. You're talking to people in the community. But typically, the internet is the first place you're going to. Right. And you might look and you'll see, if you're on Zillow, you're going to see houses from $80,000 to $8 million. And you're going to see different walkability score, scores and information on schools. And it can kind of get overwhelming. Uh, Pittsburgh is broken up into a lot of different communities. And they all have some really great benefits, but they're all a little bit different. So we wanted to take some time today to kind of just sort of break up how Pittsburgh is divided as far as what we call each community. And then over the next couple of weeks, we're going to drill down and um, have different people on that are experts in the different communities to talk to you about why you'd want to live there, um, maybe some drawbacks even, and a little bit about how the, the home market is in that area, things to do. Uh, as being born and raised in Pittsburgh, as the three of us have, uh, we we know certain certain parts of the city really, really well. There's still parts of the city that I really never venture into. Uh, so we'll go a little bit over all the different parts of Pittsburgh for you. Yeah, so if you just take a look at the screen right now, um, and if you're just listening to us, we're going to show everybody um, a picture of Pittsburgh, a, a map of it, a geography map of Pittsburgh. So you can see... I would say the quadrants of mm -hmm. Pittsburgh uh, is is commonly referred to. Yeah, I mean, in the broadest of terms, a burg is generally referred to um, north of the city, South Hills, Airport Area, West Hills, Downtown, and East End. But within those, there's also additional communities. There's probably multiple school districts within that. Suburbs, townships, We have a boroughs. lot of boroughs. <laughs> a lot of boroughs. <laughs> you're Lots from the of neighborhoods. Yes. You're from the south. It's a parish. Um, <laughs> so... Yeah, the city, when we say the city, we generally mean downtown Pittsburgh. Downtown Pittsburgh has, um, you know, our high rises. It has some of our major businesses. It has some really, really great restaurants and shops. It just got its first grocery store. Right. It's going to have an MMA ring MMA soon. Gym. And it is really a good big financial district. Not so much like Charlotte or something, but it's definitely got its business district. Um but with woven within the downtown area is the cultural district, which is nice as well. Yep. And we're the city of bridges, as you probably heard. So a lot of these areas are connected by bridges and tunnels. So when moving to the area, that's something we'll talk to you about as far as where your commute's going to be. And, you know, there might be a part of town that is just going to be maybe not as far away, but it's going to take a lot longer because of the bridges. Mm -hmm. Or tunnels. Or tunnels. <laughs> um, so there's after Pittsburgh. There's the North Shore. The North Shore is where... Formerly Heinz Field, oh, Akersher Stadium. Stadium, Stadium now. Stadium. Uh, so where the Pirates and the Steelers play, there's a lot. Uh, there's some concert venues. Mm -hmm. There's shops and restaurants. Again, there's some more businesses down there, uh, and it's got really neat, nice views of of the Pittsburgh. Rivers. And it's very close to the north side, so that's a very kind of like cultural part mm -hmm. of that folks. I would say a trendy part, very where, historical, uh, very historical mm -hmm. that people want to live. So that's a walkable to the North Shore, which is the North Side. Yep. Then you have the South Side. You have uh, Lawrenceville, which is where Children's Hospital is. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our uh, pediatricians that are coming in might want to be in that area. Shady Side, where we, you know, we have an office in the Shady, right in Shady Side. And Shady Side is, you know, upscale shopping. It's it's similar to areas like Swickley with a lot of older home, big older homes mm -hmm. that have been renovated. But there's a, you know, a, a couple main streets you can walk around and you know stop for dinner and then do some shopping. So there's there's a there's that it's area. It's like downtown Swickley. That's it what is, I call it. it. Like yeah. it's like the downtown feel. Of and I Swickley. worked there for 15 years, so I know the ins and outs of Shadyside yeah, yeah. pretty well. Um, so I could be helpful with that. Yeah, Arena and you've got well. west of West Hills, which is sort of our airport area. You've got North Hills, which is where Cranberry, Wexford, and really what we Swickley we consider north of the city as well. So. Yeah. Are you confused yet? <laughs> <laughs> all great areas. All yeah. great areas. All big areas with lots of different inside communities and pricing structures, types of homes, types of activities to do. Yeah. So it's really, really important when you decide that you're moving to Pittsburgh, that you talk to somebody that really understands not just Pittsburgh, but the areas around it. 
uh, I can't tell you how many times I've, I've met a new buyer coming into the area who just says, oh yeah, I'm moving to Pittsburgh and they have you know, no idea what they're looking for. They just said, oh, I've heard Pittsburgh's a great city. It is. It's a great city. But <laughs> it's big. But it's big. <laughs> and it's a big little city. And mm-hmm. so um, there are, like, and what I value about, you know, even just today, you, you know, we, we specialize, as Robin said at the beginning of this, in, spe- in some areas. There are areas that we know nothing about. So we're most likely not going to go, yeah, we should do that together. We're going to get you connected to one of our other Pyatt Sotheby's agents that do know the area. Absolutely. Uh, we are a very collaborative team. So mm-hmm. if you reach out to us and it turns out that an area that we are not really well versed in is what's best for you, we will connect you with the right agent through Pites at the Bees International Realty that can help you and really make sure that you're moving not just to the right house, but to the right commute, community, school district, whatever you need. So, lifestyle. Just lifestyle yeah, too. Exactly. Yeah. A house is not just a house. It's a home. It's a lifestyle. Right. Absolutely. So, um, and that's just, that's one of our jobs as, as a real estate advisor. So, we, we want to match you with the right house, but we also want to match you with the right community. And we want to get you connected within that community, especially if you're moving in from out of town and you're, you, know, you don't have family and friends here. You don't have a group to be connected with. So by working with somebody who understands the different areas, we're all parts of different community groups. You know, mm-hmm. in Swickley, I'm a part of several non- nonprofits. You're so, is part of several in in Wexford. I'm in Wexford, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm like all over. <laughs> I'm jack of all trades when it comes to Pittsburgh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you know, just knowing and, and we grew up in similar school districts. Our kids went to have gone to multiple school districts. We so we know a little bit about the size of the, of the schools, um, the size of their graduating classes, where they rank, and th- something that could be very important to you either now or in the future. So it's really, um, it's really important to work with somebody who understands the area. We also, we do have a buyer's guide that we created that has maps of the different areas and a little bit of information on the different, um, I, I tend to be, we tend to be very school district driven here in Western PA. So when I refer to that, even if, um, you know, this, the right school is not necessarily something you're worried about as far as where you live, it does have an impact on the taxes you pay. Yeah. So we do still factor that in. Um, many states have, I remember when I lived in Louisiana, I think my property taxes were $500 a year. <laughs> Let's move there. Right. <laughs> but you know, a lot of kids went to private schools and right. not the right. public school system. Right. So it does it all, it's all interwoven. So we want to make sure that we're giving you the right information so that we can empower you to make the choice that's best for you and your lifestyle. If you decide to make a trip to come and take a look at Pittsburgh, we can arrange for you to tour some of the different areas before you even look at a home. Yeah, Just, that's really important. Yeah, get really it familiar is. with the area, um, if public transit is important to you, where those locations would be and just kind of give you a feel for the Pittsburgh region so that when you do start honing in on what type of house or what type of community, you, you don't feel totally lost. You have a little bit of an idea. Right, for Pites at the Base International Realty is going to launch soon. And I was actually part of the team that helped sort of divide how things were going to be divided out from a geographical experience. Mm-hmm. So if you, when that site launches, you will be able to say kind of the quadrants. I want to be sort of north of the city because there tends to be less traffic. Or I want to be South Hills or I want to be over near the airport because I'm going to be traveling a lot. So you'll be able to find different parts of town that you might be interested in based on you know, your lifestyle and where you're going to be needing to go to and from, or if you do have family and friends here, you know, the easiest route to get to them. So that I think will be really, really helpful. And that's going to be launching here very shortly. Um, Okay. So then here, there's a fun, fun question for each of us, given that we're at the end of the topics of what we want to discuss for today. Okay. We did really well. Right. (laughs) What I want to know is now we all did grow up in the same area though. Mm -hmm. So what did you like about the area you grew up in, in when it comes to geographically, either what you did or didn't understand until you were older. I'll go first okay. to explain. Okay. So, grow up in Swickley, and so in Swickley you have one bridge to get over to Moon. <laughs> That's about it. I mean, you unless kind of, you unless you count the one on Woodland to get right, to Little yeah, Swickley yeah. Creek. But I mean, again, I, I mean, I grew, I, um, I moved away for ten years to South Carolina, but I came back. But I did start my professional career in Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. And um, I've worked downtown for a long time as well. So really very few bridges, though, still. They weren't the big traffic bridges other than c- approaching McKee's Rocks. However, so growing up in Swickley, got to college. I went to IUP. And um, my roommate went to John, or grew up in Johnstown. And they were going to Disney World for Christmas vacation that year, my freshman year. And I'm like, where do you fly out of for that? And she's like, Pittsburgh. I'm like, what? 
oh my gosh. I was like, what time of the day do you have to leave to get to the airport to drive from Johnstown to fly out of Pittsburgh? Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, it's like a three hour drive or whatever. I don't even know. I don't go to Johnstown very often. But I I did not appreciate growing up in Swickley and the proximity to Mm -hmm. actually Pittsburgh, the airport. Like, Swickley is very central for a number of things and you don't deal with a lot of traffic. And at that point, Mm -hmm. at the age of, ripe age of 19, I was like, (laughs) wow, I really grew up in a nice area. So that's where I think, like, what did you realize growing up in either Avonworth or Swickley? I think Avonworth, when I was growing up, I, it, it, you know, it was a small, quaint area. I had access to anything and everywhere I wanted to be. Um, my husband and I just moved up the hill, and I even love it more. I mean, because we are 13 minutes from downtown. If someone says, hey, we have tickets to the Pirate Game or we have tickets to the Sealer Game... We are there in 13 minutes. If we want to visit my brother in Wexford, if we want to go somewhere else in some restaurants up in Wexford, 13 minutes. Um, everywhere. You are 13 minutes, right? That's your lucky number. That's away. It's kind of my bubble, and I love it. Um, even growing up in Emsworth, though, kind of the same scenario. Back then, 279 wasn't even built, so it was 65. Same scenario, though. Would zoom right in. Um, and as I have grown, when I was younger, I thought, oh, i got to get out of Pittsburgh. No. Never did. We might have looked. We dabbled in Beaver County a little bit. Um, but when it came to the crooks of it, my husband and I, our roots are here, and we raised our son here, and I cannot imagine raising our child anywhere yeah. else. Anywhere else. It was, it's, it's been a great experience. Um, we're living the life that I lived growing up, maybe a little differently, maybe a little bigger, um, bigger bubble, but um, it was fantastic. That's great. Yeah, there was, I think there's a lot about Swickley that I didn't appreciate until A, I was older and moved away, or B, had children. So, Correct. yep, born and raised in Swickley as well. My, I'm fourth generation, so that's also something I don't think that I really appreciated, that when I, <laughs> sounds weird, when I go to Swickley <laughs> Cemetery, there's all my ancestors. Mm-hmm. Seven Road is my ancestry. Yeah. And growing up here in, you know, middle school and junior high, I went to St. James for a while and then Osborne and then finished with Quaker Valley through the middle school and high school and just having memories of the old shops and the old restaurants and what things used to be called and having that sort of mindset of what our town was 20, 30 years ago. (laughs) Um, And having so many friends, like I wrote a card today to, to one of my friends and clients. It was like, I came across this picture of us from, I don't know, maybe third second or third grade at St. James and I was like I have to send this to her like she lives up the street I was like I have to send this because it's just knowing that I've had friends that I met literally in elementary school and we're all (laughs) right and we're all back here (laughs) yeah and then having you know that that tradition that's going to carry on with my kids now being here so now they're the next generation uh growing here and, and learning from me about what life was like in Slickly you know 20 years ago and And the fact that as much as it's changed, it hasn't. It's still a walkable community. It's still small class sizes. So I think I graduated with like 140. I think I I was like 150. Yeah, I was 69, but now it's up to like 140. Yeah. (laughs) So just everybody knew each other. Some people like that. Some people don't. Personally, as a parent, I like that because I like to know Mm -hmm. who my kids are hanging out with. I like to know the parents. I like to to have conversation with them and run into them, you know, at the store. Um, so I, I re- and plus I also feel like my kids are, you know, they're, they're one of 160 and to me, not, just, they're just like, they're known by name. Oh yeah. They're known by name, but it's also like with that too is uh, the they're known by name. Yeah. <laughs> they're known by name. I mean, like, it's even, like, mother and father <laughs> and aunt exactly. uncle. Like the kids will come home and like, oh, can I play with so-and-so? And I'm like, what's our last name? Yeah. You know? And they're like, oh, Fitzgerald. Oh, I know okay. the dad. You yeah. know, or whatever. All right, we'll and allow so, that. Yeah, we'll allow that. So. It is funny, but then also, like, you've texted me a number of times, like, who is this person? Spencer's in Starbucks, and uh, you know, whatever, and my kids cannot go anywhere without being seen, no. so. I mean, that's know, not we just are, we, we are, we, of course, True. we're biased to Swickley, we love Swickley, but I have to say, you know, I was saying, like, jack of all trades, like, it is funny, because I've lived in Beaver, I now live in Wexford currently, um, and so we, we've got Avonworth taking care of, you know, I think that the breadth of knowledge we have of a number of neighborhoods mm-hmm. is really helpful for our team. And so as people do come into Pittsburgh, they do begin to figure out, do I want to, which neighborhood do I want to move into? Mm-hmm. We're really excited to work with you. And I think we're excited. You've got a couple people, I think, lined up to come and talk about the new yes, about the different areas. areas late soon. Yeah. And Pittsburgh, downtown Pittsburgh is an amazing town too. We have, 
you know, if you watch the, the video that our founder, Lucas Pyatt, put out a few years ago, it talks about how we were a big steel town. And when that fell off, we were faced with falling off the grid or picking ourselves up and finding new technologies. So yeah. we are you know, on the cutting edge when it comes to hospitals, mm -hmm. when it comes to robotics. We have some amazing universities here. So we do tend to see people who will come to, you know, come to Pitt or CMU and then end up moving here long term. Well, because they end up with Argo AI. They end up with Uber. They end up at Children's Hospital. You know, it's right. just there's so much going on here. Or and, GH and um, PMC. Yeah. yeah. Huge. But so downtown is great. I've said if I didn't have children, I would live downtown in a heartbeat. Yeah. Like, I love it. It's one of the few places I haven't lived in this area it was actually downtown. But I did work downtown for 10 years. And. There was something really nice about being able to drive into the city each day. Mm -hmm. um, it was a really pretty commute, except in the winter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, really pretty commute. Well, we had great parking. Yeah, lots of parking. Um, although we are not, that's the interesting thing. When you talk to people about commute, when I say it took me 13 minutes to get from, you know, Swigley to the Strip District when I worked down there, oh. they're like, how's that possible? I'm like, because we're not Atlanta. Right, we're not right. Chicago. Like we are, our long commute is usually like maybe 30 minutes. Right. Right. Uh, so that's also. And we complain about it. And we, of course <laughs> we do. Of course we do. Can you imagine if we were sitting in like Dallas traffic, we'd no. lose our minds. No, I couldn't. No, thank you. There's no. always something going on somewhere in the city, yeah. whether it's downtown or on in the suburbs, you'll never be bored. There's always something fun to do. There's always a great, we have some really fantastic restaurants and incubators that have come in. Yeah. So we have so much to share over the next forever. Yes. So yes. thanks for tuning in. Thank you. We again. love where we live. So. Yeah. We, yeah. Go, we literally, I'm like trying to wrap I it know. up here. Cause I'm like, and another we're like, she's I, giving me the hook. I'm like, come on, let's go. But no, I think we have yeah. a lot to share about. We don't want to go on and on and about it yeah. now, but I think I'm excited about our next topics. And I think that, um, yeah. the folks that we bring in too, so you won't always hear us, but, I think that this will be the place to go. And next thing you know, everyone's moving to Pittsburgh. Right. Yes. You're all going to want to live here. Yep, we don't have enough room for you in Swickley, but we'll get as many of you in here as we can to keep the class sizes manageable. Or, or to have more. Or, or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, to find out more information about Pittsburgh or Swickley or any of these other areas or more information on us, you can visit our website. It's Estate, And Swickley is S-E-W-I-C-K-L-E-Y. Yeah. And then you can also email us at rjgroup at pyatsir.com. Yep. And then otherwise, we will see you next time. And uh, I don't know what we're going to talk about yet. Do you? Uh, I think we're going to start breaking quarters. out into a couple of the cities. Perfect. Yeah. That's great. So we'll see you soon. All right. Take care.